The pandemic's devastating effects on airlines have made it tough for Boeing, with some 30,000 jobs expected to disappear company-wide before everything is over. Nowhere is that playing out more than in Everett, where by the middle of this year, a key assembly line will be gone. King 5's Glenn Farley moderated a panel of experts this afternoon, facilitated by the Machinist Union, and joins us live tonight. So, Glenn, there is some hope tonight, right? There is hope, but it could be a while before it gets here. So when Gary Locke was governor, he fought hard through a big tax incentive program along with the legislature to land a revolutionary new airplane called the 787 Dreamliner. Well, the assembly line here is going to be consolidated in South Carolina where there's another assembly line. And the question is, will that ever come back? Boeing said it had to do it because it's got to save money because of the pandemic. But these analysts say Boeing has a problem. They have a gap that they still need to fill to build a plane smaller than the 787, but larger than the 737 made down in Renton. They see a lot of potential in that. The question becomes, how soon can we get it? And will they build it here? 787 under the Gary Locke administration, which isn't gonna be here in another several months. It may not be back, according to you guys. If this airplane gets launched, when could it get launched? Is it this year? Probably not. Is it next year? Probably not. Maybe the year after that. And then when does that activity heat up? So you're going to go through a period where triple sevens at very low activity, seven eights moving out of town, and there's no new show in town. I think there's a lot of work to be done in the state of Washington. There are a lot of interior suppliers and there's a there's an advantage of being located close to the final assembly line. Now, Richard Abalafia, who, can, who was also on this panel, although not pictured here, completed a report that was done a few years ago saying, look, Washington state is the biggest aerospace cluster in the world. This is also the world's biggest building that makes a bunch of planes and of course the seven 47 is going to be retired by 2022. So the pressure is on. There is a lot of hope in the vaccine that that will especially bring back business travel. Those are the folks that pay more and they're not all going to Zoom, according to these guys. So there is some good news here. The question, how long do we have to wait for it? Live in Everett, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Thanks, Glenn.